Welcome back. I'm your boy Calvin Pierce, joined by my boy C Bass McQuig. Hey, he over here doing big things, man. You was, I saw you over there at the winning circle, and just last week you just made a huge announcement. Let's see. Let's take a look. I'll be attending school um, in a couple of months. The school I'll be going to will be. <laughs> Ah, I see you. I see you tossing it up, Sea Bass. What? Yes, what? Tell us what led to that decision. Um. So if you guys know, my top two was IMG Academy or UNLV, of course. Um, IMG uh, was a post grad year, so after you graduate high school, you go there for a semester to get bigger, faster, stronger, become a better athlete, as well as taking you know courses um, in school. The only thing with uh, IMG that it costs, it costs quite a bit of money, the money that I don't have to spend, that my family doesn't have to spend. Um, so mainly, of course, it was a financial decision. Uh, going to UNLV, I'll be walking on as a preferred walk-on. And the things that they told me, the things that they could welcome, uh, the interest that they had in me, um, they're ready to welcome me into their record-breaking uh, class 2021 recruiting class. Um, which I'm very excited to be a part of and blessed to be a part of. And they got a new coaching staff over at UNLV. Um, they haven't done the best in the past season, but you know I'm always for the team that's on the come up, uh, ready to improve. And I think coming to UNLV, there's something there's something special going on in Vegas, and uh, I can't wait to be a part of that. And how did you even get in, into uh, being able to talk with the coaches at UNLV? Was it uh, some of the awesome play that you uh, – was able to produce on the field at the uh, winning circle? Um, so actually a couple months ago, I, uh, I befriended a guy named Anthony Rosas, and he goes, he's a commit, he's an offensive guard committed to UNLV. Um, and me being under the radar as I was, he liked what he saw in me. He liked what, uh, the film that I had at camps. He liked what he saw in my uh, workouts with Giants Field, Nico Trenches. Um, and with D3 Sports Agility Training. Um, so he really re reached out to UNLV and he told him about me and he said, look guys, like this is a guy, this is a baller that you guys need to look into. So when the season started, uh, I kept in contact with Coach Chad, the defensive line coach, um, and he kept telling me to send him the film, uh, send him the transcripts, and after a phone call with him, you know, it's like, you're our guy, unfortunately. Um, you know, we don't have the scholarship money for you, but we do have a spot for you as a PWO. So I'll be going to PWO as, uh, to UNLV as a PWO. Right, but like you are right now in the weight room, what, what are you doing to put in that extra uh, work so you can earn that uh, the full ride so you're, you're not stuck with a ton of uh, loans and things of that nature? Uh, well, knowing that I'm a PWO, um, I'm gonna be overlooked. I've been overlooked my entire life. You know, being being on the bottom is nothing new to me. So I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing and more. Uh, lifting every night here with my uh, my trainer, Coach Sparks. Uh, getting in practice, getting in uh, training sessions. Uh, just doing my thing, continuing to be who I'm supposed to be and not switching up who I'm supposed to be. Uh, staying on my path. Um, you know, the top, the top is short lived. Yes, I committed, yes, it was a great, uh, a moment, but it's short-lived. You know, now I'm back at the, uh, the bottom of the totem pole. Um, I'm an incoming freshman. Now I remember what it was like to be a freshman. Um, but what it took to be to where I am now, it was hard work. And I know to get to the top of UNLV, it's going to continue. Uh, I can continue, continue to uh, be hard work. When do you plan on uh, heading out that way this this summer? Um, they haven't told me anything special yet. Uh, but I'd say sometime around either June or July, maybe earlier. Uh, but I know maybe right after school, uh, I'll be heading out there with all the guys and uh, getting uh, some of workout started. And you, you mentioned earlier, you said one of, one of your buddies you know, he's already committed over there as well? Uh, yeah, Anthony Rosas, he's an offensive guard. He's committed to uh, UNLV, yeah. So that's going to make it easier on you so it's not like homesick you got somebody you know you could partner up with and uh hang out with 
Right. Yeah, I've also uh, I've also been added to the, the UNLV uh, Class 21 group chat for uh, the recruits. So I'm being a, I'm acquainted with all the teammates. Not all. I'm starting to acquaint myself with all the teammates uh, coming into UNLV. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited for it. Yeah. And I know you was one of the uh, champions here in San Diego when they first launched the uh, Let them, uh, Let Us Play. And uh, what what do you think with that still taking place? And it could be official word maybe in the next 72 hours or by early next week. Um, you talking about the Let Us Play movement? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think that these seniors, especially the seniors, need to have this opportunity to play. Kids that don't have the opportunity to go to college on a full ride scholarship or don't have the opportunity to go to college to play the sport that they love. Um, and not just that, like there are kids out there that need football to live, um, to stay out of trouble. Like there's, I don't know if you saw the statistics, but I saw the statistics that there are numerous kids that are every day that are joining gangs, becoming new fathers, getting in trouble with, uh, with their parents, with the law. And it's all because they don't have the distraction of football. They don't get to play the game that they love. And you see that 47 other states have successfully played a high school football season. California is one of the three states that have not played, and it's, it's very frustrating to see what our government is doing. And yes, there is the risk of COVID-19. Yes, there are people that are dying, but you don't see you don't see the kids my age that are 17 years old, 16 or younger, or even 17 or 18 um, that are being affected by COVID-19. Like I said before, 47 other states have played football successfully. And California, being the powerhouse that it is for, for high school football, definitely needs to um, have their season. So we do know it for sure won't be any state or playoffs. If there if there is a four to six game season here in California, w will you play those uh, games as well? Um, I plan on playing with my school. When, it, when the season ramps up, and I plan that it will, my school, Patrick Henry Football, we plan to be playing football uh, in the next coming month. Like we are planning on being in pads, and I can't wait. Like this is the season, this is the time I've been waiting to grind out with my brothers I've been going to high school with for the longest time. Like this is my team, and I don't, I don't, I don't believe that they deserve. No, no high school team deserves to be not able to play in a high school football season, especially the seniors. This is their last year. Like it's already bad enough that we haven't been able to experience your experience no prom no homecoming no senior trip um no senior campus activities you know we deserve if anything to have a season and i think really um i'm really i'm really excited to be able to play with my brothers that i've been going to high school with for so long and uh i can't wait for this to ramp up i know it may be just a little early but what what kind of goals uh do you have um for yourself at unlv academic and on the field uh, I plan on coming in right away as an impact player, and I say it's the most humbly, uh, the humbly, the most humblest way possible. Um, I'm a hard worker, and I know that nothing is given; that everything is earned. And I plan on taking that uh, mentality to the next level when I go to UNLV. Um, even if it's playing special teams, I want to see the field. I want to grind with these guys that are already here. I want to be coachable. I want to learn from the players that are already there. I've already met this new coaching staff, Coach Arroyo, Coach Chad, and uh, my goals, oh, man, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot of goals. Uh, I plan on making a huge impact when I get there. Um, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. I, it's, it's a lot to process right now, but um, I can't wait to see the field and get to meet these new teammates and new coaching staff. And like you said, it's real likely that you'll play some more games over here at Patrick Henry. What if somebody else come in, uh, any other suitors? Are you 100% committed to UNLV? Or if somebody come in with a total four ride, are you, are you still open? Um, I am 100% committed to UNLV. Uh, I don't plan on switching sides. I don't plan on leaving UNLV for a different school. Um, yeah, I'm fully committed uh, to this program and what they have coming for them. 
uh, the next year. It's like I said, new coaching staff. I just want to be a part of something special and be a part of something that's going to be remembered for I'll a long time. School. This record breaking, uh, uh, like I said, they had this record breaking recruiting class. I want, to be, I want to be part of something special, and I truly believe going to UNLV, um, I'll be able to have that opportunity. That's what's up, man. We're glad to have you, brother, and uh, we wish you the we wish you the best at UNLV. Uh, all the success on the football field and everything that you uh, set out to accomplish there. Thank you. I appreciate that.